welcome to West Midlands. A long trip for Colchester United. Three hours up from Essex today. They'll be hoping to leave with some points and they try and kick on after a slow start to the season. They'll take on one of the leading teams in this campaign so far. Walsall with a generous hoard of points. That's the system that Danny Cowley and his team had to try and break down. Walsall had too much for Salford over the weekend and Colchester ran three goals past Tranmere. Today they meet with the Zions on going higher in the table. This should be a test on a different level. <laughs> Trying to find the right ball and they brought in Edwards. Not sure too much of it to Conor Barrett. And look at Colin Barrett go. Might get in behind here. Looking for Nathan Lowe. Not from Flanagan. And the danger not over for Colchester, Liam Gordon. Oh, they were living dangerously for a moment. Oh, now danger down the other end, Lyle Taylor. Well, you've seen those go in. Try that ten times in a season. One time it might just work, and that was very nearly the once. Something out of nothing. Poor pass from Williams, dropped short. Kick on was Jamil Matt, slow, trying to feed it. Opportunity to cross for Jamie Jellis, but didn't take it. Not at the expense of possession, though. This is Liam Gordon. Again, Stebo looking for uh, the overlap. He's got a lot of holding up to do here. Here's uh, Samson Tavide, and he might have got through. And look at Lyle Taylor in the middle. It's Tavide. Can't find the pass. And the block from David Okaboy. He showed supreme strength to get away there, but just didn't have the final ball, Tavide. And with that, it could have been a very different outcome. Tavide fighting his way through. He just shoves off Harry Williams. But it fell down when it came to picking the cross. Look at that for a long ball. Oh, and Jamie Jellis. What a touch and a goal. Well, it needed something to turn this game. And a moment of magic with the touch from Jamie Jellis. And it's his second for the season. And it gives the Saddlers a lead late in the first half. Well, it was the right end to score up in terms of the atmosphere. And the decibels have risen at Pound Lambescott Stadium. And what a simple goal it was in its making. Allen all the way down the field. Jealous with the first touch to control, the second at the feet. Maybe a bit of fortune on the third. This is Yandolo. And Bishop now. Seeing the space of Mandela Rebo. And he find the right ball in. Up against Liam Gordon. Really seeing him attacking so far. Flanagan. That's a good ball. And it just needed to be on target from Edwards. It was flashed across goal and the winger couldn't divert it back towards the target. should say, no changes at the start of uh, the second half for either team. Both of them came in to this game unchanged from their weekend exploits. Thinking about a ball in here, Gordon, it was just behind low. It might spring as well. And Jamil Mack fancied a bit of it. Interesting to see how Walsall conversely handle having this lead. Here is Connor Barrett. Thinking about his cross, and he didn't have a lot of room there either. It was a good ball in the end, Flanagan clear. And low, not far away. He turned onto that, the Stoke Loney. And the teenager, he just dragged it wide in the end.
Jealous going for goal and drawing the save out of Macy. Second ball, maybe. Liam Gordon. Pressure still on. That's a better delivery Not towards Jamil Matt again, but he was offside. And the Colchester defensive line has done its job. Jealous knows where the goal is, he's proven that. Big arm from Yandola. And it found Tavide, that was all it did though. Payne's headed this time, he might get it back here. Taylor's in a good position ahead of him, he's going to go for goal. And it didn't have the dip needed from Jack Payne. Fancied it from range. Man who's played a lot of his football at the higher levels, Jack Payne. Mandela Reba playing without much support in blue and white and with that taken into consideration it was a rather needless foul from Ryan Sturk. Payne was going nowhere fast. Reba has been told just to drop in behind. It is Payne's ball. Low away, not far away though and Flanagan back into the mix. Taylor was in there too. They're all battling for it. It is Taylor. And nobody can get a foot on it. Scully wanted it. And Walsall have wrestled it to safety. First header away from low, but he only found Flanagan. Then Lyle Taylor thought he was in. There's Sturt. And Gordon's come into a more central role now. Rather than out at left wing back. Here comes Earring. Bit of space here. Trying to lay it up, and uh, Jamie Jellis' effort was speared towards the target. And a good effort, a brave effort from Ben Goodler to get in the way. And the shot seemed the likely option for uh, Earring first, but it was Jellis who fired at goal. Earring again. Now Liam Gordon with a turn from Woodyard. And Jealous hit up against Reed. Wide man is Connor Barrett. Scully trying to keep him out of the penalty area. It is Barrett's cross. Fist through and a goal. And Adoma who's got it. What a smile that lights up the Powell and Bescott Stadium. Man who celebrated a career milestone in midweek has the goal that might take this game beyond the reach of Colchester United. Oh, giving away. This could be the end of it. Adolma. And Nathan Lowe, saved by Macy, danger not over. And that is it, secured by Jack Geary. The third goal to wrap up the three points. There is to be no resurgence, Walsall won't let that happen. They have been clinical today. And they are going to take their place at the top of the League Two standings for a couple of hours at least. On off the bench, and he's made some impact, Jack Eric. And it was a mess entirely of Colchester's own making. Too much show to Lowe. Adoma, who could have gone himself, picking the right pass. Lowe forcing the save out of Matt Macy. And then it fell to Eric, who just slotted it in the corner. There's Payne. One two with Woodyard. He's kept himself away from low. Could have a go here, Woodyard. Maybe should have done rather than trying to find pain. He was blocked off. And Adolma has released Nathan Lowe here. And there is no flag against Lowe. And it's laid up nicely for Henry. And it's four for Walsall. And a brace for Jack Earing. Brought off the bench to make a difference. And that difference has been extended and added to two goals in three minutes for Jack Earing.
And this is now into rap territory for the Saddlers. They'll be one of the standout sides at the start of this League Two season. But that's it. And how football can change. Colchester winners 3 0 last weekend against Tranmere. Four goals against them without reply in this afternoon's game. Jamie Jealous got it started just before half time. Excellent control from the long ball down the park from Taylor Allen. And then the scoring just got better in the final quarter of an hour. Albert Adoma and then a brace from Jack Hearing off the bench secure the points that long look to secure Colchester blunt in front of goal and a goal scoring frenzy for the home side also four Colchester United nil